guys. I wanted to do a haul video for the last couple of things that I got in the mail. Uh, some of it, or most of it, is from iHerb, and then some from e.l.f. and Feel Unique. So I guess I should start with Feel Unique, because that's just one thing. It's this Declior um, Nutri Boost Ultra Cocooning Cream. I've heard good things about this one. I haven't tried it before. I do have another moisturizer from Declior, but not this specific one. So I can't wait to try it. I think it, it got some sort of award or something. And it's just this little jar with... It smells almost like a... Um, like a, a minty kind of flavor, but it's not overpowering. So I think it's it's going to be good. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a, a refreshing feeling to put this on. Then on to e.l.f. I will be purchasing a lot of stuff from e.l.f. in the future because there's a few stuff that I want to repurchase because I love it so much and I either want several ones of the same product or I want, I've used it all up and I need to repurchase. Also there's a few things that I want to try that are new on the website or at least new to me. I repurchased my e.l.f. makeup mist and set. Um, I've had this one before. I absolutely love it. I use the one from Mary Kay now which is a um, um, cooperation with Scandinavia, same brand that um, cooperated with Urban Decay and they're like experts when it comes to, they're like the, on the top when it comes to makeup setting sprays and I just love them but this one is a close runner-up. It's a good good makeup setting spray. I decided I wanted to repurchase because it, it is really good. The only thing I don't, or there's two things that I don't like about this makeup setting spray is that the the scent is a little bit overpowering. So I'm kind of concerned about the ingredients in this makeup setting spray. But it is cruelty free so that's a good thing. Um, also another thing that I don't love about this um, item is the, um, is the pump. It's so much and so concentrated so it's like <laughs> when you get it in your face. So I usually um, put this into another bottle and it works perfectly. Then I also repurchase, I own both of these um, brushes. I repurchased both of them, the powder brush and the blending eye brush. The powder brush is just a really, really good brush. I can't believe that this is just, I think it's $3 or is it more now? I can't remember, but I had, the last one I've had for so long, I've used it for, as my foundation brush for the longest time. I think it's originally meant to be for powder since it's called a powder brush but it's really good for foundation as well anyways this is um i will recommend this brush for a foundation brush maybe you're starting out with foundation and you don't want to spend too much money on your foundation brush but at the same time you want the brush to work i think this is a really good one I am using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush right now and I think it's awesome. Um, but I don't think this is a lot worse, it's just, they're just different. But yeah, love it. And then this one, I will probably purchase several ones of the this one, it's the Blending Eye Brush. And I just use it, I, found, I realized, okay, the reason, by the way, I decided to <laughs> purchase another one, another one of this is because the first one broke right here. I don't know, it, maybe it, it, it got some, some water 
in there and just ruin the glue. Anyways, so back to the blending eye brush. I have one more of this and I use it mainly for contouring or blending my eyeshadow. This is a really good one and I, I think it's perfectly um, soft and but at the same time it's so precise that I it's so easy to control where the color will end up on the lid and yeah on the eye. Then lastly from e.l.f. is this e.l.f. moisturizing foundation stick in Honey. This is a new one for me. And the reason why I decided to buy this was to use it as a contour stick. You know, to put it wherever I wanted to contour and then blending out, blending it out with a brush or um, or a beauty blender. But I think I failed on this one because I decided, you know, to go with the rule to use to to buy it two colors or two shades darker than my actual skin tone, which is kind of um, recommended to use as a contour color. And so I did, and that was Honey. And I, I was I also had in the back of my mind the the color tone, like if it was uh, pink based or yellow based, and I feel like this was pink based, but I don't think it was. <laughs> it is really hard to see on the website, and it, it I couldn't find anyone or a lot of people that had given this one a review. But as you can see, it is too dark for me, but it's not dark enough, I feel like, to use as a contour. But I'm gonna try it out and we'll see. But I feel like it's really, um, I feel like there's a lot of oil in it. Like it's really moisturizing and I feel like the formula is really nice. And it actually blends out really nice into my skin. Like it's not, you can probably see it, but it's not too obvious. Then lastly onto my iHerb order, which is two orders because, again, the price limit. And it's a little bit, mostly food, um, and a little bit of beauty. First off is this kettle green potato. Potato Chips New York Cheddar. Naturally in great taste. I really like this brand of potato chips, and I know you can get this in Norway, but the selection of flavors are a lot bigger on iHerb. Then I got this Nestle Mini Marshmallows Rich Milk Chocolate Flavor um, Cocoa. Dr. Atkins Chocolate Candies. They're like M&M's, I guess. I haven't tried these, but also this has been become a new favorite for me. It is the Snappy Crisps Harvest Snaps flavored green pea crisps. They're, so they're they're baked and they're Caesar flavored. Then I got the Twinings Christmas Tea. I thought that was a good idea to get these days. Then on to the beauty part. I don't know if you can call it beauty, but it's beauty related. It's not makeup. Um, I got the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Cream Shave in Mango Vanilla. Soothing and smoothing for normal to dry skin. I have tried another shave, shaving foam from Alba Botanica, which I really like. It is what I'm using right now, but I'm almost out, so I thought I would get another one. And I just love their scents, and they're really moisturizing to the skin, and uh, they're cruelty-free, so I love them. So I can't wait to try this one, I think. Ooh, oh my god. Holy smokes. Now solutions. Coconut oil, 100% natural for skin and hair. Now, I, um, there, I mean, I could do a whole video just on this product because 
You can use this for so many things, but for me personally, I think it's the best. It's best for removing your eye makeup. I so I just love using it for that. But you can use it on your hair, on um, as a in an ingredients for a scrub, for um, moisturizing, for your hair, for shaving, and lots and lots of other things. Great things. A African black soap from Nubian Heritage with oats, aloe, and vitamin E. It's for its anti-blemish, detoxifying, and healing. I just really wanted to try this one out. Um, and I did actually mainly buy it for removing makeup. Because I'm just trying to find a really good makeup remover now and then when I'm on the hunt for something, I buy like 10 options. That's just so typically me. I don't think it smells any... It, it doesn't really smell very good, but it's not really bad either. And they ha it has little particles in it. So I guess that's the oats. And um, yeah, can't wait to try this one. The last two things are from Bloom Naturals. <laughs> I have a hand moisturizer from the same brand, which I love. It smells horrible, but I love it for my hands. <clears throat> but I, like again, I wanted a makeup remover, and I've never, like ever in my life, purchased makeup remover um, pads or towels. So I just wanted to try some good ones. It's daily cleansing and makeup remover towels, and I think there's, I think there's like ten of these. They're in individually packaged, which is great. They're that's amazing um, for traveling. I think so cool, huh? And this pack is a little bit bigger. It's for normal skin daily cleansing and makeup remover towelettes. Contains organic cucumber and aloe vera extracts. So that was all for my little haul from iHerb with Feel Unique and Elf. I uh, hope to see you again in my next video. Bye!